Warning, this video shows a woman losing her life. However, the family wants this video shared to get justice. Viewer discretion is advised. Devonna Walker was a 29-year-old who was originally from Chicago but had transitioned to Marion, Iowa. She had two boys. In October of 2022, she had a beautiful little girl. According to the family, Devonna had been in multiple disputes with her neighbors. Based on what the family is alleging, Devonna was being racially harassed at her apartment complex. On January 2, 2023, Devonna got into a heated debate with her neighbors over a physical assault. I'm going to show you the video, viewer discretion is advised.
I wish she had continued to walk away. However, when that man called her the N-word, she turned around and came back. I believe he did that on purpose to engage her into a fight. However, you can't claim someone calling you the N-word verbally provoked you into an attack. In most states, a person has the right to harm and or kill a person that is physically threatening harm to them or someone else. Looking at the video, Devana was going after the woman. If you look closely, at one point, she knocks the woman down. That's when the man grabs her and stabs her. At one point, the man is stabbing her, the dog is biting and jumping on her from the back, the lady is grabbing and pulling on her, so she couldn't retreat. That man was ready. I don't think it's fair for him to claim self-defense. According to her mother, the couple was arrested but not charged. Even more shocking, this happened on January 2nd, as of January 10th they still don't have any more information and they have not been able to see Devana's body. The hardest part is, y'all ain't kept me up in form of nothing at all. You ain't knocked on my door. The wait for answers continues tonight, almost a week after the first homicide of 2023 in Cedar Rapids. 29-year-old Devana Walker was stabbed last Monday night on the northeast side and died after being taken to the hospital. We know two people were detained and questioned that night, but they've been released since then, and really we haven't heard anything about the case in these past six days. Tonight, though, we're hearing from Walker's mother as she and a lot of others wonder what's holding things up. It's an Iowa's News Now I found out at 6.30. I get a phone call saying that she was stabbed. That's how LaShawn Bowles learned about the stabbing that killed her daughter. Devon Walker died on January 2nd after that stabbing at Cambridge Townhomes in Northeast Cedar Rapids. My son said I'll go up there and check because I was at work. And he texted me and said that she didn't make it. Bowles says since that night at the hospital, the only time she's talked with police was a visit to them she made herself. Friday, I went to the police station and I wanted to know what's going on. How come no one's knocked on my door? No police, nobody's contacting me. I don't know, no, I don't even know where my baby at. I ain't seen her since this all happened. While she waits for answers, Bowles is now taking care of Walker's three kids, two boys and a 10 week old girl. She just had a little girl, so she was very thrilled about that. She been wanting a girl. The Cedar Rapids Police Department posted a press release on the 13th of January. There has been no further information made available to the public. I hope people have been paying attention to how police and prosecutors are handling murders when the deceased is black and the accused is white. They are disclosing very little information and allowing a lot of time to pass before they inform the public of their decision. I looked through the comments to get a feel for what people thought. Half the people say, self-defense while others say manslaughter. I also saw a lot of comments by black men posting memes and making light of her death. With the way this is being handled and the lack of transparency, I assume they will rule this as self-defense. The family has established a GoFundMe. Keep the family in your prayers, rest in peace, Devana Walker.